Good morning, or should I say afternoon? Well, afternoon is the new morning in these odd times that COVID-19 is causing. Here we are again with Rye TV on Rye Views and another chapter of My Suburban Escapes. Today we've chosen to come to two county parks about a 12 minute drive from Rye, Cranberry Lake Preserve and Kinzico Dam Plaza. They're just next door as the crow flies, but separated by Highway 22. So you have to drive from one to the other. We're gonna to start today at Cranberry Lake Preserve. It's 190 acres, about five miles of trails. There's an old rock quarry in it from which the granite was mined at the beginning of the 20th century to build the dam, the Kensico Dam. But we'll get to more of that later. That's my first surprise on our walk today. Um, it's a very easy parking spot. It's very easy on the children or the older. Anybody can walk these trails. There are some more interesting trails that you can get some height on on the cliffs, but we'll get to that later too. So as always, let's start at the trail map. Trailheads always have a brown kiosk that's called the trail map. And you, again, can take a photo of the map, as we talked about the other day, if there are none available in the little house that they would have. I'm going to cover my hands to be safe. Voila, there's a trail map here. Many times at the trailhead beginning, there are also sign-in sheets, especially on trails that are larger, like the Long Path or the Appalachian Trail, where you have people who hike for days, weeks, months, they like to have some system by which they can track the trackers, the hikers. So if you ever see a notebook inside these little houses, that's what that's for. You don't really have to sign in and out as a day hiker, but if you are going on an overnight, the, the game, game rangers ask that you do that. Um, so still today, the county parks remain open. We're so lucky, although the nature centers, meaning the facilities and housing at any of the parks, uh, city, state, or county, County, remain closed for safety. So be sure to come prepared. Use the facilities before you leave the house, bring water, bring hand wipes, stay your distance. They're not too crowded up here the further north you get, I'm finding. Um, not as crowded perhaps as our beloved Edith Reed and Marshlands have been, but those are great too. And it's always best to come on weekdays. There are not as many people. Um, so without further ado, let's hit the road, shall we? Okay, so here we are at the first juncture. It's just a, a wee trail that goes around the whole park. It's a three mile trail and it's a circular so if you hit any weirdness you can always turn around and come back um, we are first stop the lake i guess you could have figured that one out huh let's head on out Okay, so here we are at Cranberry Lake. It's the Piste de Resistance, the central part of the park. The park is like a donut around it, and it is the hole. It's actually a glacial lake. It was carved out 18,000 years ago by a huge glacier in the last ice age, the one that also carved out Long Island. It's very deep and four acres around. Unfortunately, you can't swim in it, you can't fish on it, you can't play in it, but you can look at it. And on a really hot day, I don't think anyone would object to you filling your hat up with water and putting it back on your head. That's certainly what I do. All right, let's head on out to the next surprise, shall we? Let's do it. Well, this is the first portion of the trail that has a little elevation to it. There are a lot of root balls to it. So probably best not to bring a stroller. And if your wee knees are a little weak, you might wanna take one of the easier loops. There's a trail for everyone. I need a little cardio right now. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's another one of those markers. They can be a little confusing, but you really cannot get lost here. I mean, it's bordered to the north, south, east, and west by things that you recognize. 22, Route 22, the Kinzico Reservoir. You know that the sun rises in the east, and that's where Rye is from here, and the sun sets in the west. You can always truly find your way by looking at the moss on the trees. It really does grow on the north side of a tree. So just follow your instincts. It's great to learn how to navigate through the woods. And they've made these parks so user friendly that you can't get lost. You really can't get hurt. It's a great learning tool. Just take advantage of it. Now is the time. Here we are at surprise number two. It's what I would call a swamp where I come from. We've got a lot of swamps where I come from. But here it's properly called a bog, or even more properly, scientifically, a fen, F-E-N, because the pH balance is a little different, the alkaline level, and so different plants and animals grow in it. It's a different habitat. This is actually where cranberries grow. This is a proper cranberry bog. They grow wild here, but they're not cultivated. When you see them in the cranberry juice ads, they've been farmed and they're beautiful. This would just be wild and you'd get a few. It's mostly now overrun with Phragmite, which are those beautiful golden stalks that you see, but environmentalists hate them because they take over the waterways. They grow everywhere. They're an invasive species, but they're beautiful. I take a stalk to my beauty parlor when it's time to get my hair done and say, this is the color for me, please. They don't get it. Surprise! Hiking surprise number three. How cool is this? It's a perfect place to chill out, get a little water, take off a layer, put on a layer, and it's really cool inside. Any of the caves up here in these parks, whether natural or man-made, which this one is, are so much cooler. In the summer when you're hot, you can just look forward to hanging out in the air-conditioned hovel. Right now it feels great. Okay, so here we are at the last surprise of the day. We're at the top of the quarry. This is the granite stone, which was mined here, con brought over to the construction site, which is now the Kensico Dam on a little railroad track that they made with cars, like you see in the cartoons and Bugs Bunny. And they made a deep, deep hole with all the stone to build the other, which we'll go see on our next hike. So you can hike up here, it's lovely. The only problem is there are bugs, it gets kind of buggy, so I wouldn't have my picnic here. And it also can be crowded, and it also has graffiti everywhere. So I don't know if you can hear the frogs from where I sit, but it's lovely. They're all in the pool. The bugs are the only problem. Again, now's the time to come. You get a cool breeze. You can just kind of take a, take a pause because you're at the apex of our trip. It's the end of the loop, so we'll head back the other way now. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Check